Well guys, looks like we got a little bit more uh, bent metal we need to straighten. Uh, this is the dish that sits behind the headlight. And it's uh, trapped by, uh, there's like a little aluminum kind of a dressing ring that sits here, but we've got uh, this little tab is bent a little bit. That's hardly anything really. Uh, but this one here, if you can see that, this whole part right here is kind of bent in that way just a little bit. And it's actually making it so my screw isn't long enough to reach. Yeah, I suppose I should have bought a little bit longer screws, but this is still a problem anyway. So uh, let's straighten that out. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, so this is the first thing I want to try to straighten because it's going to be really easy. Uh, this little tab we got right here, if I can reach over. This, uh, this guy right here is bent down just a little bit. Uh, this should be really easy. So let me grab a hammer and let's have a look. All right, I think you guys can see there's uh, kind of a little bit of a shadow there. This is bent that direction, so I'm just gonna use this block as an anvil. Just tap that down. Oops. A little tiny bit more. And this side seems to be bent the other way a little bit. So. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so next uh, we're gonna try to bend this guy here back out and I can just sneak this dolly underneath the edge and I'm gonna try I don't know, hitting here or maybe I should maybe start here and see if I can roll this whole thing out. So I think I'll maybe tap right on the corner there. Well, that drove the dolly up in there, didn't it? <laughs> that might have helped a little bit. Let's try striking it another way. Moving it a little bit. I think I need to use my block here. I need to try to drive down on this thing. And you know, when you're doing this stuff, you don't need a whale on these things. This is not, you know, we're not driving a nail. Just a little tap. You don't want to cause more damage while you're trying to fix one thing. All right, that might that might be pretty good right there. Let's see if I can get you guys where you can see it. So that's a good one. That's the one that was bent. I think that's looking pretty good. All right, let's see if we can straighten that other ring. All right, guys, uh, this is, let's see if I can get this in focus. This is the uh, the little dressing ring that sits right on the headlight, and this is what actually holds it into that dish piece. And it is kind of got a couple of little hiccups in it. See if we can get in close. There's a little wrinkle right here. I don't know if that was in focus good enough, and the ring is not exactly as round as it ought to be. Uh, very little damage on this, but we'll see if we can straighten that out just so it looks good. Uh, it wouldn't hurt the functionality of it at all, but, you know. We'll try to do a good job around here. All right, so there's a couple of little wrinkles in this thing. There's one right here and one right here. And I don't have a dolly that'll fit in there, so I've gone back to my stick and reshaped it. Let's see if I can just lightly tap that because I don't want to scar this metal up. Try to push that down. And when you're doing this kind of work, uh, most of the time you want to be doing, they call it off dolly. This isn't a dolly, but you get the idea. So when you, it will be supporting up here, but you want to be striking off of that so that the metal bends. If you strike onto a dolly, then you're going to be uh, making the metal stretch, which may be something you need to do, but uh, more of a finishing technique. 
Okay, it's almost got that one kind of worked out. This is aluminum, so I'm trying to be extra ginger. Now right here, this kind of needs to almost go that way a little bit. So I'm going to try to support it on the low and strike it. There's a little high right here. Strike it over there, and that will kind of take that little twist out. Needs a little more. And we got kind of the same situation on the other side. <laughs> I think the kids are killing each other out there. Okay, now I got a little high in the center. Tap that down. Still got a little high here on the outsides. Now I'm gonna, there's a little tiny bump right here in the center. This is very difficult to get, to get it to move. work a little better here. Alright. Got that high down. It's a little low here in the middle still. I need to drive out. So I'm going to work on the edge right on the point of that where that thing's rolled over. Let's see if I can That's just about got that. And this thing is just a little bit out of round. I think I can just sort of massage this here. So that one seems pretty good. All the tabs are fine on this one here. So I think we're done with that part. All right, everybody, we're here at the, the grill of the truck. So this is the area where there was some damage when the my father-in-law bumped into this and kind of this whole area right here is pushed in just a little bit I really just kind of notice this is pushed over but the main problem really is this right here is pushed down pretty far right here so I'm gonna give it a whirl here and see if this don't work put this in here and see if I can't just pry this out a little bit and that's definitely moving I can come over here and get this some. Oh boy, that's really hard stuff right there. All these angles really makes that a, a strong point. I'm surprised it's bent at all here. There we go. That feels pretty good. Let me grab the ring and see how this fits up against there. Well, that's looking pretty decent to me. I think JB from Oz was kind of calling me out wanting to see the uh, see the ring on the on the vehicle. Does that look uh, adequate for you? All right, so first part goes in is uh, these little clips. That's what's gonna hold the, uh, the ring for the headlight in. You gotta have that in before the, the dish part goes in there. Don't ask how I know. And these are these are threaded for a quarter inch twenty. All right, so I'm going to try to show you some of the components that are in here, but I, I don't know if it's showing on the camera. But there's a spring right here. See this? As 
I'm not sure how that's attached, but it might even be, yeah, it's kind of staked on there or something. But anyway, this is kind of permanent to the grill. So you got that, and then there's an adjusting screw up here, and another one right here. Whoops. You gotta be careful of these things, they like to fall out. So it's just a little, I think it's even plastic, but it's a little square, and it's kind of got a T-shaped thing that just engages in there. And once it's all pressed in, and that ring, you know, this dish sits on the back. If you look here, I've got, there's a straight slot right here, and then there's one that's kind of curved, and then there's a little hole right here. Okay, so this spring goes into that. So I'm gonna get a hold of this. Probably don't even need the need the pick to get that. Let's see. Maybe it's easier to put that on afterwards. Let's see. So I'm gonna try and slide that one into there. There you go. And on those screws, there's kind of a there's a slot that it engages onto those little tabs. This guy, oh boy, <clears throat> definitely need the spring tool for that. All right, there we go. All right, so that's in there the way it ought to be. So these screws are, oh, sorry, these screws here, they're for adjusting the headlights, you know. This is how you focus your light so it's not shining into oncoming traffic, all right? So we got that, let me grab the headlight. All right, so the next thing we gotta do, we got our brand spanking new headlight plug it in and that's pretty self-explanatory it's keyed so it'll only plug on one way don't drop it whatever I do here <clears throat> boy I don't want to go on there does it there we go that was really tight okay so now if you look here there's some notches right here stamped into this dish on the back well there's corresponding pieces on the glass that fit into there okay and your writing is probably going to be right side up on the headlight so now the next thing is the little aluminum trim ring <clears throat> all right so that slips over like that holes lined up there we go and this is where having a magnetic screwdriver would be really handy uh, there's three little screws that hold this bezel on Last one, I must have done a fairly decent job because the hole's lining up really nice. All right, let's see if I can give you guys a little flyby. So here's the headlight ring. So show you this side here. Come around over here. I can't see it on my screen, but I think it'll probably show up, but very little bit of a gap there, not much. And now these little felt screws here, these are not right either, but I think I might uh, chuck them up in the lathe and maybe just dome them. I couldn't find the right type screw, but uh, this is a lot better than what I had in there before. All right, guys, if you enjoy these kind of videos, you like seeing machines being resurrected, pulled out of the scrap yard, uh, why don't you consider subscribing and uh, maybe even support my Patreon channel. Uh, it'll certainly help pay for all the little supplies and stuff that I need. And it doesn't take much, you know, every little bit helps. See you guys around.